guys. So Valentine's Day is literally around the corner. Okay, it's not like that soon, but it's like two weeks away. But I just wanted to go around shopping and get like little gifts because I don't know I feel like Valentine's Day should be more celebrated because if you think about it there's not really like a holiday in between like now and like a few months like there's nothing going on except for Valentine's Day you know what I mean this is kind of like the dry period of the year where there's not really much to celebrate I mean my birthday's in March so there's that but like I mean like holidays you know like I feel like all the holidays happen in like the end of the year and then all of a sudden it's like a dry period where nothing is a holiday anymore but we should consider valentine's day as more of a holiday and not even if you just have a boyfriend like you should still celebrate valentine's day even if you're single because self-love self-love okay honestly get yourself some treats treat yourself to something have a movie night with yourself or with your friends like it can seriously be such a good experience and you can celebrate it like get like bake little cute like heart shaped cupcakes or something you know like make make a day out of it i feel like that's so fun even though i have a boyfriend i still would want to celebrate valentine's day with my girlfriends too like that's just something fun to do i am currently at starbucks because madison wants like a starbucks tumbler cup she wants like a specific green one so i'm gonna go inside and see if they have the green one that she wants and see or anything like similar cute and if not then i'm just gonna go to like a different starbucks and check because she said that she's been wanting that for a while and i feel like that's just such a cute little gift so i'm gonna get her that and i'm gonna just like fill it with maybe some candies get her a little teddy bear we're gonna go to the dollar store see what kind of candies they have i feel like that would be really cute and then for my friend julia i'm gonna order this like little cup on amazon i'll show you guys it online like i haven't ordered it yet but it's so cute and they're both single so i feel like i don't know i just like feel the need to treat my single ladies you know what i mean like that's just something fun to do and then for joel my boyfriend I, it's funny i'm like i'm planning these gifts not even for my boyfriend i think i'm just gonna get him like a little teddy bear and just like write him a little love letter you know i feel like it's so much easier to get girls something for valentine's day because it's like you get them flowers like the classic gift you know but guys it's like what do you get your boyfriend okay let's go in and see if they have the cup i really hope that they do <laughs> So I just got out of the dollar store. I went to two Starbucks and I didn't find the cup that I wanted. I found like a cute water bottle that was the same color that she wanted, but it wasn't the exact thing that she wanted. So I'm going to go to one more Starbucks and if they don't have it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might just pick up that other water bottle because it is really cute. But I did find a lot of cute stuff at the dollar store. Before I get into that, I just wanted to say thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. So right now, they are doing a buy one, get one 40% off on their website for Valentine's Day. So now's the perfect time to treat yourself. Like I was talking about before, I didn't even mean to do that. You should go treat yourself to some cute-ass jewelry or even one of your girlfriends. Whoever in your life you can treat for valentine's day like that's so cute i love anna luisa because they are sustainable and you guys know i want to start moving my purchases more sustainable they literally have so many pieces cute ass pieces on their website i'm going to show you guys what i got honestly their rings are literally the best i'm going to get my um, nails done for valentine's day soon um, i'm so excited i'll show you guys that in a different vlog but anyways these are the rings that i got this time um i don't know why but i really just like love the big stack on this finger i don't know why but it just I feel like it looks cool and then this ring is actually adjustable which is really nice so these are the three rings that i picked out and i've been really into rings lately these two on this hand are actually from them as well but i've been so into rings lately and i just feel like they make your hands look so cute especially when you have like your nails done i've been so into just like wearing rings i don't know they just like pull together everything i talk about this a lot i know that but i swear to god they just pull together an outfit they pull together your hands and they make your hands look more cute like i don't know how to describe it but yeah literally so cute so yeah go shop them down below if you guys want to and you can even like match with me some rings if you want to as well because that's that's really cute anyways um i'm gonna give you guys a little haul right now how freaking cute is this like are you kidding me i'm envisioning putting just like what <laughs> this is for me this is not a gift <laughs> this huge massive card is for joel 
um it's literally so big as you can see it's massive and i feel like this is just like really cute and funny so i'm gonna this is gonna be his little valentine's day card and uh, another gift for myself i honestly envision this putting them on the back of my phone case because i feel like that would be so cute just like sticking them in random places um i feel like that would just be so cute so i got that and then i got joel some chocolate roses because i feel like he would like that way better than real flowers so how cute next i got these cookie cutters because i want to put like cookies in the little gift things that i'm making so i'm probably gonna make like sugar cookies or something and then decorate them and next i got these flower petals just to put in the bags like the gift bags next i got these two little bags how cute i literally died when i saw them one for julia and one for madison i just thought these were so cute i got this little stuffed animal for madison this one for joel and i will show you guys i'm gonna like order some stuff online tonight that i want to put into julia's gift so i'll like show you guys everything but literally everything is so cute like i can't valentine's day is just so freaking cute love day like that is so cute it has you don't have to have a significant other you can literally love anybody so this is literally the third starbucks that i'm into and i still can't find her a freaking the cup that she wants like the dark green one she looks like the dark green tumbler and i still can't find it so i think i'm just gonna go back and get that other one that i saw but honestly i think that will do because that one's still really cute and then if i wait it out then i feel like that one's gonna get sold out and then i won't be able to find anything I think I'm just gonna do that. Okay, you guys, just got out of the first Starbucks that I went into, which is funny. Um, here is what I got her. I think that this is so cute, actually, and it's like a water bottle, so I feel like it's good because she can like bring it to the gym, put it in her bag. You know, it's not like a tumbler where you have to keep it upright. And this is like her favorite color. It's so cute, honestly. I'm actually really happy with it. I was hoping to get a tumbler, but I feel like this might be even better. So anyways, this is what I ended up getting. So cute. So this is going to be from Madison. I also ended up going to Walmart because I wanted to see what type of candies they had. And I bought a big bear for Joel because I just thought that this was a lot more cute. I got Madison a little monkey because she's been wanting a monkey for so long, like a real monkey. So I thought that this was funnier than the other thing that I got because it's like a monkey, you know? They had a way better selection at Walmart. I got these little um, hearts that have like little words on them. And then I got the red... Um, you guys know what these are. Everybody knows what these are. These candies, and then I got just a little bag of hard chocolates. So, yeah, because they didn't have any of this at the dollar store. So I'm just gonna show you guys like a very like I've showed you guys um, my makeup like my everyday makeup look But this makeup look is like my simplistic makeup literally this takes me five minutes not even joking So I go in with this merit beauty stick. It's like a foundation concealer You can really put this wherever you want, but it's like what I like about it is it's really like for me at least it's like minimal covered so it's not like heavy it's not cakey or any of that and I just like to Put this quickly in like areas that I want a little bit of coverage I literally go like that like a couple swipes over my face and I just love it because it's literally so quick and then I take their brush and I just blend it in I feel like using a beauty blender takes a little longer because you gotta like wet it and everything so yeah that's all I do for the face coverage because usually I would go in with like two a darker concealer and then a lighter concealer and that gives me more of like a full coverage look but this is just literally like you put on and it like matches my skin tone perfectly so it's like no makeup makeup look you know what i mean and now i'm just gonna go in with the makeup by mario bronzing stick and just take a brush and then blend it out i love this stuff so much like it just blends in so nicely now i'm gonna just go in with my charlotte tilbury powder this is in the lightest shade and when i'm doing a makeup look like this I make sure to get as least as possible on my little brush just because I just want to set my makeup. I don't want to like cake anything on, you know? So I'm just setting it because I get really greasy like around my nose area. So I make sure to just like 
emphasize that area and then that's literally it i just put like a tiny dust amount on my brush just to set it so now for blush i'm just gonna go in with the rare beauty one that i've been using for a while it's just in the shade bliss i do have a blush from merit beauty and it looks like this but the thing is um this is just constructive criticism for them because i really do love the products but the only thing about the blush is that i just don't think it's pigmented enough um i will put on like layers of it and it's really sheer which is good if you really want like just like a natural gliss glimmer on your cheek but for me personally i've just been really in love with blush and it just like hasn't been enough for me like it's too sheer and blush ends up rubbing off of me anyways like during the day so putting that on it like lasts like two seconds but sometimes i'll just like put it on to top off the blush that i put on like below because it does give like a really nice like glowy finish now i'm just gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury um setting spray this stuff definitely helps my makeup last all day like i wore it on set the other day for like i was on set for like 14 hours and my makeup held up really good especially while wearing a mask now i'm just going to take the merit beauty highlighter and pop that on quickly with my finger their packaging is literally so cute and then i'm going in with the merit beauty brow pomade i think i don't know what this i think it's called pomade i just love this stuff because it's literally so quick and then the last thing i'm going to do is just curl my eyelashes i have been finding that my eyelashes have grown so much and I have a feeling that it's because I've been taking biotin and collagen and I think that's supposed to help with your hair, skin, and nails. They have grown tremendously. Like, I don't think they've ever looked this long before. I really want to get, like, a lash lift just because I feel like that would be so convenient. Like, I would never wear mascara if I had a lash lift. I'd literally just leave my eyelashes. But then I was doing more research on it and then there was this doctor that was like, yeah, like, you can go blind from it and, like, because the chemicals or something, like, really scary like that. So I was like uh like you know it's kind of ruined it for me so i don't know i really want to get one but like that also scares me like i don't want any damage to my eyeballs so let me know if you guys have like an experience with the lash lift and tint i probably wouldn't get a tint because my eyelashes are already black so wouldn't need that but as far as like the lifting goes let me know if you guys have done that before because i want to but like that video literally scared me so i don't know what to believe but anyway so this is my little um natural makeup look literally took me like two minutes and yeah one other thing that i would do is add a lip liner and then that's basically it um but my lip liner is not here with me right now so we're not gonna do that but i do love my lip liner as well but yeah so this is just like my go-to natural no makeup makeup look i guess you can call it because i don't even like wear mascara i just curl my lashes and then so i'm literally currently at the dentist and i haven't gone to the dentist since like before like maybe two years ago because ever since like the virus started we just like haven't gone to the dentist because i don't know i don't maybe they've been closed like i don't even know why but we just haven't gone and this is my first appointment in like two years and i literally like let me tell you i don't think anybody likes dentists but i i like literally hate it so much i literally dread even though i go like once a year is it that you're supposed to book a dentist probably once a year or every six months or whatever i dread it so much even though I haven't gone in two years, I feel like I was just here. Like, that's literally crazy. Um, but this is my first dentist appointment that I'm going completely alone because usually, like, my mom books us with, like, everybody. We usually all go together and make it, like, a whole, like, dentist trip. But this is my first time going alone because my mom had to make sure that she booked me in before I'm off of her benefits plan. So we're getting covered. <laughs> I am, like, a part of the union now for background acting and stuff, so I will get benefits. I just need to, like, sign up through them. I just haven't, like look at the i just haven't looked at the benefits plans yet so i need to do that but anyways so oh two to do 12 22 love how i picked up the phone with that one um but anyways wish me luck the how i get through these types of things like doing things that i don't like like doctor's appointments i just hate stuff like that um how i get myself through it is i'm like literally in like a few hours you're gonna be done like you're gonna be done and you're gonna be home in your bed nice and relaxed like it's not that big of a deal because soon enough before you know it, it's gonna be over you know what i mean like it's gonna be done and dusted that's how i get th myself through these types of things is i imagine myself like in like a couple hours and i'm like like it's gonna be over with so it's not that bad anyways i have to go in my appointment's at 12 30 so we have seven minutes to get inside wish me luck by the time you're watching this like the next clip i'm gonna be out 
So it's like lucky you guys, you don't have to go to the dentist with me. Guys, I wore jeans today. Yes, I wore jeans today. I don't think I've worn jeans for like so long out. I just put on these really cute pair of jeans from Revolve and then I have on just this like zip up and this really cold today so I have to throw on the puffer. I didn't want to throw on the puffer but I have to because it's so cold. But yeah, I'm literally wearing jeans and I never wear jeans. This is like revolutionary. Okay, let's go. officially done at the dentist i'm literally so happy that was long what time is it oh my god that was an hour and a half it's literally two o'clock i didn't even realize that was that long holy shit wow that was not as bad as i remembered i kind of wish they had a tv in there because you're just like literally sitting there like for like an hour and a half <laughs> it's really boring but it's okay i was trying to like meditate i was like you know what i'm just gonna clear my mind and just like relax you know listen to the little drilly sounds anyways okay this is how my phone turned out i think it's cute i mean i don't know if it's ugly or cute like i really honestly can't tell for uh, like 100 percent sure like i'm not really that sure but i think that it's cute so let me know how you guys like it actually it is really cute like it's just fun okay it's just fun and different and a little crafty situation a little crafty moment okay i actually really like this little these little hearts i just took some pictures in the mirror and like it looks so cute because of these little hearts like it's so valentine's day Here, i'll show you guys you see i'm just trying to like show the case you know like it's cute just trying to show off the case that is so cute i do not regret doing these little hearts that is adorable so if you guys want to copy me do it just literally go to the dollar store get some cute little heart studs and stick them on the back of your phone case probably not the, on the back of your phone because you do, definitely do not want to ruin your actual phone but if you guys have like a case a plain case then do it would recommend <laughs> So, in terms of the Valentine's Day gifts, I told you guys what I wanted to get Julia, and this is, like, the type of cute-ass, like, little um, heart-shaped mug that I wanted to get her, because I think that these are so cute, literally, it will make you feel so, like, just, like, cute while drinking your coffee, and these come in a two-pack, so honestly, I'm gonna give her one and then keep one to myself, um... But yeah, these are literally adorable. I don't know like what brand I'm gonna get yet. I'm just gonna like look at the reviews and everything, but I'm definitely gonna get her one of these because I think it's perfect. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end off today's video here. Thank you so much to Anna Louisa for sponsoring it. If you guys wanna go shop, don't forget to click the link in my description and yeah, because they're having such a good sale and literally the cutest jewelry ever and such good quality and especially for the price too like i've literally had some of their jewelry pieces and like rings for so long now and they have not tarnished like one percent like they're such good quality so definitely recommend go check out the links in my description and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um i hope you have an amazing valentine's day honestly we should treat it like a holiday and i, I don't know like even Madison was saying this the other day that she's like so excited for Valentine's Day. And I was like, I don't know what's in the air this year, but it's just like, feels like more of a holiday this year and I like it. But anyways, hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and don't forget to treat yourself. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.